Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to animate this guy. Well, if we're doing like a slideshow or something and uh, we want to give more impact to the picture, we animate this guy and we can do that inside Photoshop Extended only. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the background, in this case the tower bridge. You can do it Control J or Command J on a Mac and obviously as drag into create a new layer icon as I've done it. Now we're going to the channels and we're going to see which channel gives more contrast and I'm going to red channel and I'm going to click and hold into the, the looks like but in this case copies a new channel or creates a new channel. So now I'm going to image adjustments and I'm going into levels and I'm going to give you even more contrast so I'm going mid tones and uh, blacks a bit like so and probably a bit more on the mid tones yep and I click OK now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the brush and I'm going to select overlay uh, make sure you have the default colors press D on your keyboard and scroll through black and white to the foreground just X do the trick. So as you can see, and I'm going to start in white. So I'm just going like so, like so, and there we go, and click again. Still painting it white, as you can see. Sometimes it gets to one stage that see nothing is happening, or not much is happening. Click again, and you'll see something starts happening again so we carry on doing that like this and I'm going to sample in here so I can get more detail out of these areas in here and I'm going to sample in here and go again and as you can see it's getting rid of the sky and I'm going to sample again and it's about right so I carry on in here like so and like so I carry on and it's a very nice technique well there's other ways you can select but I reckon this is probably the best way to do in this case but at the end of the day, it's your call, not mine. Experiment, and uh, this way you'll see, depending on the picture, which one is easiest. Because obviously, we want the easiest way to do certain things, or everything. So I'll carry on, still in white, and nothing is happening, so I'll click again. So basically, it's like resampling the areas. So I'll carry on, and as you can see, I have nice, nice. A lot of people think, oh, probably I'll use threshold, but believe me, threshold won't work. Not for this, um, at least not for this picture. And it's about right. So now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change my color. I press X, and now I'm with black. I'll just go like so, paint it everywhere. I'm going to make my brush slightly bigger to make it quicker. Mm -hmm. And it's nearly there. Now I'm going to swap again to white and I'm going just to, oops, I'm going to undo because I didn't swap it. There we go. There we go okay then we can see in here there's a bit of white so we're going to black and we're going to normal mode and I'll just go like this make sure I've got hard brush and I'm going like that now I'm going to overlay mode again and I'm going to just try to get a bit more detail of this area like so okay and there we go so now just hold control or command on the Mac and click on the thumbnail in here 
and because of the colors we've got obviously we need to invert selection so control shift I and now we've got the selection inverted so we're going back to the layers background copy and we just click add a layer mask and there you go we got rid of the sky so now I've got another sky in here and obviously I need to put it below tower bridge so now what we need to do very simple with the sky selected what I'm going to do is I'm just going to free transform and make it like so so now we have a picture that we can make the sky moving I've got smart guides that's why what you may see on the top I've got smart guides guides turned on it's quite easier but you can always hold shift and you can move it always uh, horizontal so now let's go into the window animation and now we've got animation panel and we know that the sky is layer one so there we go so we just struggle through and we I'm going to put beginning and I'll just put position now I'm going all the way down to 10 second mark in this case and I'm going just to move it slightly like so and just add it straight away a new keyframe so I'll just go back and I press play and as you can see we've got the sky moving looks like kind of a video and there you go I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time bye for now